Hello everyone, I hope you're all doing well today. My name is Alex and I am currently recording in uh, self-isolation. Um, my son's school has coronavirus going around at the moment and we're, we're waiting for our uh, own tests to come back. So uh, currently recording audio in particular is quite difficult. Um, uh, my wife is distracting the kids upstairs so I can get this uh, this week's video done. And uh, I guess let's uh, jump into talking about um, what we're doing this week. So this week we are building an armor smith. Um, it's quite close to the castle and it's in the upper part of the town. Um, again, we're going for a similar style to what we went for with the um the Fletcher uh where we've got these oh where's my phone buzzing at me um oops sorry about that um yeah we'll go for a similar style to the Fletcher uh with the the basalt pillars and the the stone lower half and um a more wooden upper half and uh I think building the uh pillars with these um, sort of three by three cross sections is uh, turned out quite nice because it's given a lot more of a, a lot more depth to the lower level, allowing the uh, the upper level to feel like it's got even more of an overhang. Um, so we're just building the the walls on the lower level at the moment, going for bone and dark oak. Um, I I really like the color combination of this because you got the the grays of the stone the wood to mix it up and the greens to add a, a bit of life when when we put the plants on it um oh yeah for this uh the supper part it took me quite a few attempts to get the uh roof line right uh like i kept building a section stepping back having a look at it, think it's nice but that's not what we want uh, so i had to go at it for a few times and uh yeah so i um oh yeah the uh let's talk about the shape of the building i went for so we've gone for an l shape on this and uh, i wanted this building and the uh the weaponsmith to make like a courtyard where the um these uh, carts could deliver coal and iron to this courtyard through this uh, passageway between the two buildings and uh, and the armorsmith and weaponsmith would have uh, sort of a an area to work just off the main street where where it'd be easy for them to load what they've made into carts uh, to be delivered around the kingdom then uh, down here we've got the uh, the coal store. Um, I I wasn't I'm not too keen on its exact location, but there wasn't really many options for where to put it. So I uh, I ended up putting the coal store down the side of the building, um, which has very restricted access but uh, I just couldn't think of anywhere better to put it and then uh, <clears throat> right in the middle of this courtyard we have the um, the forge and uh, that doorway there is uh, access to my um, mob farm uh, that's built deep below the castle this is where I get my gunpowder and uh, string and other things from and uh, yeah, so I've had to give access to that. And um, I think I'll uh, I'll leave you to enjoy the rest of the time lapse. There's not much time left. And uh, if you enjoy this time lapse, please uh, like and subscribe. That really helps the channel to grow. And uh, yeah, I will see you next video where we will be building the armor smith. And uh, I'll, I'll talk you through uh, that next time. See you later. Bye.